for fast, cheap, and reliable Madden 23 coins. Make sure you guys go check out my sponsor, AOEAH.com. Use code Venom at checkout for 3% off your order. Yo, what's so guys? Venom Fire here back from the video. And today we're going to be bringing you guys a, another defensive blitzing scheme. Today we're going to be talking about the spinner play in the dollar three two formation it's going to be in the kansas city chiefs defensive playbook i mean overall it is a really really good play it's a super good man blitz it's something different for those who run three three right now it's you know a different type of blitz and overall i think it is just a really diverse scheme that you can use in a lot of different ways now once again chiefs playbook personnel wise you can get safeties here or linebackers i know some people like to use the linebackers just because they're going to be a lot better against the run, be able to shed and just make some plays. If you have Lurker on the linebackers, they also make some crazy plays for you. I'm sure a lot of you knew that as well. We'll use safeties just so they're a little bit faster. But once again, the play is spinner. You can leave auto flip on for this play since it is symmetrical. It's dollar and it is man coverage anyway. And yeah, without further ado, let us jump straight into it. Make sure you drop a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel down below for more of these videos. All right, so coming out onto the field, what you see here is going to be a tight look. I will show it against some other spread out formations, but we're gonna start out with tight for now. So what you can do is just baseline press. That's something I kind of like to do. It just clears these up, guys. These guys up a bit. Now, for whatever reason, it shows, it makes like the blitzers go on the inside. So if you don't prefer that, you don't have to baseline. And it tight's a little bit more complicated. I might try auto basing line, seeing if that changes it. Maybe uh, we'll see, but. Yeah, so honestly, all I really like to do is just get in here in a hovered position and then snap the ball and you're gonna get someone free. Now, ideally, we didn't get a good enough hover there and that was just because I forgot that I was using the uh, computer. Now we have the controller on and I'm actually gonna try auto basing line, see if that changes it. Otherwise, I might just go to a different formation so you can see it a little bit clearer. Um, I didn't even do it, that's fantastic. So we're gonna have to go back again. Since I forgot to do it, I don't know what the point of me even autoing was. So coach adjustments, base, whatever. Spinner. And let's just try Z spot. All right, so this is a little bit of a better look, I guess. We'll just leave it like this. But uh, once again, I didn't mention you do want some faster slot corners as well. That is something I recommend. So you're just gonna hover here and you get that quick pressure. Generally, you should just get two people free. Uh, one's usually like a D lineman formed by some sort of, you know, hover. And the second one should at least be one slot corner. So you press, simple enough. I'm not sure if there's a way that, yeah, those slot corners, it just depends formation to formation. It seems like they're just kind of stuck. So again, you should snap the ball, you can hover a little bit and then you get back in user. Now your assignment is going to be RB, which is why you will kind of want to hover further on the outside, which is something I'm not doing the best job of right now. Now, once again, RB is your guy, so. Just take a look at the blitz though. You get these two guys getting free off the edge. Both slot corners are able to get free. And that's really what you love to see. Now again, what I mentioned is your guy is going to be RB. Um, so that's your assignment. You're, you can man yourself up just to let you know that you have to defend the running back. So when they snap it, you wanna go out and defend the running back. You should still get pressure. Now, since we are in like a tight formation, what's gonna happen a little bit is going to be some bumping you'll see it happen just because there's a lot of wide receivers there's a lot of people there so it's kind of bound to happen um, you know it shouldn't be too unexpected that you're gonna have players kind of colliding it's just the way that it is another way you can run it is if you want you can just like man up the running back and just straight up hover with this guy so you can hover there and you should still get pressure as you saw right there now sometimes you can get two people in this case we only get one so you know it is what it is in that case but um can't really complain too much if that makes any sense um overall it's a really good blitz now we're gonna stick with man coverage i might show like a little bluff later for whatever reason there we got a really good baseline press where these guys are actually in position my favorite way is just kind of like stand over the right tackle snap the ball and then just go out straight and use the rb player you see there we get a really fast pressure which is why you want those quick slot corners um hopping into the replay you see it's really quick when they're in the right positions but over here you see we would have got it you know, probably a second pressure, but since this guy just got ran over, it's another downfall. So, you know, sometimes it'll work in your favor on the right side, but then uh, on the left side, you see we just get ran over and that's just tight for you. So 
blitzing out of tight is not the blitzing tight is not the easiest so you will see things like that happen but again i like to hover here and go back user and here you just see we get a straight pressure this is from the linebacker slash safety in this case uh, and you just you know what you guys are seeing right now is just the blitz working in a lot of different ways so you get a straight rush faster than the slot corners you'll take it you can get more speed than this guy this guy's a low overall but a lot of things defended there's not too many places that you can just go to the ball you know go with the ball um, which is great as well. So, I mean, overall, can't complain too much with the Blitz. Very solid. Let's go ahead and switch to some other formations. I don't really have like a bunch in this playbook, but I will show it against like little doubles action. And again, your assignment's usually going to be the same if you're using this right guy. It's going to be the running back that's flipped. You could just use this player and it'll be fine. So, again, we're going to hover here. He's blocking and we get the pressure. So, you see, you Blitz six against six and you get the pressure. Can't complain about that. I'll show it again. Um, four verts. Let's send the running back out on the route so you can see it against that. Again, baselining press is something I like to do. You can also like shade over the top if you'd like. Otherwise, usually I will press if I have some good you know corners. There you see both corners getting free. You're able to go back and use her with your user controlled safety. And I mean, overall, it's just pretty solid. I mean, you guys see the blitz putting in work. I will show some other adjustments out of it, but you get ideally all you need is both the ends since they're already spread outside. They do their job. They are able to engage with the tackles and both guys getting free. I don't really do even do a whole lot of hovering there. All I do is just kind of pull that guard to the side, which allows the guarantee that there's going to be three blitzers on the left with the three blockers, and then you get both guys free. Of course, you can just use this guy. I was just kind of running up because I was watching the blitz a little bit, but just use him, whatever route he's on. Should be pretty simple. And again, the other way to run it, I'll show it one more time against the other formation, is to just straight up man up the running back and go ahead. So you're gonna man up the running back and what you're gonna do is just use this guy. This isn't, of course, gonna get one last person. It should ideally. And in this case, we get a really weird blitzing angle by our corner. So, and that can't happen, which is why I like to have that extra blitzing linebacker just in case things go wrong. Because in this situation, it did not pay off and you see that happening. So let's show some bluff blitzes. If you were to bluff blitz, what you could do is go with something that I like to do against tight is go with like a straight double flat immediately. And then we could throw like an inside third in there. So it's just a nice basic coverage. You can put those curl flats deep. I would shade outside as well. Um, and this is going to help with defending corner outs, especially out of this formation. So you bluff the blitz. He's going to think blitz. He's going to have like a man set up. And you see, we actually got to disengage there, which can happen as well out of this dollar formation. We rush three, we still hovered, and you see, we just got a straight bliss through. I'm not sure why that happened, but you'll take it. Uh, all I was doing is holding the left guard. This probably doesn't happen every rep as you would expect, but I mean, just overall, if you can get those all day, you'll definitely take them. Um, baseline press, again, I just curl flat both guys for now, and then I throw my extra middle linebacker in the inside third. You can go with situations where you blitz one slot corner, Pressure won't exactly work too well, but you could do that. So again, I'm gonna hover here. And of course you don't see the blitz getting through, but you are able to recover a lot of times, intercept the ball with a safety. And again, you could also zone drops those uh, curl flats, get them wherever you want. These are just default, keep that in mind. So if you wanna send four people, you can either blitz like one of these linebackers or what you can do is just blitz one of the slot corners. So if you wanna play a curl flat over there, you're more than welcome to. And just run your coverage like this kind of or you could, again, like man up the running back, put one curl flat and use this boy. So that's just a good way to mix it up. And then you have four man rushing, which means you should get more one on ones, which should lead to more sheds overall. So, I mean, just mixing up your defense the way that we are right now is a good idea. And again, there are other plays in this formation that I can show. I th I'm not sure. I can't remember if I posted the video on TV Fire 2 or not. But I mean, overall, if you can mix it between a couple of different plays, That'll even set you off better, but yeah, just mixing it up because man coverage, if he's expecting man coverage every time, what can he do? Probably out of this particular formation, he can just max block everybody. And I'm going to try my best to show like a max protect in this scenario. So we're going to try and hover. I'm going to go like here, um, using the wrong controller. That's great. Sorry, just trying to use two controllers. It's a little bit confusing. So we're in motion, snap it and you see that's gonna block it and then he would maybe have his chance to throw the corner out. So that's a situation that you might, you wanna avoid. 
the way you avoid that is by mixing up your attack, not blitzing every single play. So I did post a video on DB Fire 2 as well about eight days ago, so you can check that out as Jerry Alexander in the thumbnail. I was correct in my assessment, but yeah, so there are ways to block this. It's not necessarily guaranteed. It's difficult for me to show, but um, yeah, if they like, and I'm trying to get like a good hover here as well. So using two controllers, not the easiest. Um, and one of our guys is just like standing there. I'm not sure. Oh, there's the guy man up on the running back, but you see the blitz. They can get good blocking situations. You're kind of, you know, screwed. So that's why you don't overcommit to the blitz. Um, and mixing the block blitz is because if you catch him, start max protecting, you've already won. And that's when you mix in zone. He's like, okay, you switch into zone. He's not going to rush as many people. And then you go back to man. So it's kind of a chess match inside of the game. It's something I like to do. And again, you can shade outside, stop those corner outs, especially with these guys backed off. They should be pretty decent at stopping those corner outs. And boom, quick pressure. So again, if you get a good hover, you, should, you get two people free. If you get a bad hover, you'll get one person free. You know, it is what it is. You gotta take the good with the bad, but for most chances you should be getting pressure kind of regardless. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why I'm not able to hold that guy's attention, but I mean, the coverage on this is pretty good. These receivers not the best, but Overall, he should have some pressure in his face quickly. Even if the blitz doesn't get through, you're rushing seven. One guy should get through with a block shed or something you would expect. So I'm trying to hover here. And there you see again, like our linebacker ends up getting free somehow. And then we just have our corner getting free. So even if it doesn't work to perfection, it should still get through. Now, overall, it's a new video. If you guys enjoyed, drop a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel down below. And peace. I'm out of here.